Hi guys, I am going to show you how to use a new program called Cami. I'm using another student's login, which I got permission to do, in order to show you what it will look like on your Chromebook. When you open up Language Arts, there will be an assignment posted for you that is called How to Use Cami Video and Assignment. When you open it, it will have a video right here, the one I'm making right now. It says to complete this assignment, you will use a program called Cami. If you've never used it before, you will need to allow your Chromebook or computer to set it up for you. That's what I'm going to show you in the video. That's why I have to use a student account. So hopefully it will act the way your Chromebook will act. To do this assignment, the link is here, but to do the assignment, you must click open with Cami right there. It's teeny little words and I wish I knew how to make them bigger. Open with Cami and we wait. There we go. Since this student has never used Cami before, it wants to set up the application on his Chromebook. I'm going to click sign in with Google. And then I'm going to click the student's name, which would be your name. And you have to tell it to allow. So scroll down and click allow. Now, I have to tell it that I'm a student after it does its thing there. I have to tell it that I'm a student. Authorize Google Drive. Choose an account. I'm going to choose your email. Scroll down. Tell it to allow. And you will only have to do these things once. It won't ask you to do this again. Pick I am a student. And scroll down a little bit to click finish. Welcome to Cami. If you want to watch the video of all the wonderful things that Cami can do, you can. Or you can just click continue to go to your assignment. This is your assignment. It is um, a practice worksheet on synonyms and antonyms. I tried to choose something easy so that we could practice the program and not the skill. So I read the directions, draw a line to match each word to its synonym and antonym. On the left-hand side are the tools for Cami. This is where I use it as a pointer. That will make it turn into a pointer or a finger, the hand tool to move things. Selections. The things I'm going to use the most are here, the T, which is text box, and this little paintbrush, which is drawing. So I can also use this one that says markup which is going to be a highlighter. You can choose what color you want, and if I wanted to highlight the word antonym in yellow, it turns it yellow for me. Or if I wanted to change it to green, it will highlight the word synonym in green for me. Now, to change tools, just click on a new tool. For text box, maybe I want to put my name up here. I click where I want it to go, and all of these options pop up for me. If I wanted to change which font I wanted to use, maybe I like the name Merriweather. I wanted to change it. That's how I do that. Inside the box, you just type your name. I'll type Mrs. Wiles and click out. And it leaves the text right there. In case I want to change it, I can click in there and change it. For this section, we're going to draw lines from the word to the synonym to the antonym. So I'm going to use the drawing tool. I can choose how thick I want it. I think I'll use two. You could use a super fat one or a super skinny one like one. But I think I'll use two. It's just in between. And I think I want to use pink today. Feels like a pink day. Assemble means to build. On your Chromebook, to draw a line, you're going to click the touchpad with one finger 
and pull the line with the other finger. Don't let the first finger go until you're done with your line. So click at the word assemble, drag down to the word build, and then let both fingers go. Build, the opposite or antonym of build is demolish. So I click with one finger, drag over to demolish. And I have matched my word with my synonym and my antonym. Let's do one more. Anxious. Anxious goes with nervous. The opposite, nervous, would be fearless. You get the idea. I'm not going to do them all for you. To scroll down, you just scroll like normal. Synonyms for these words. I'm going to use a text box here because I tried to write the word with my drawing tool. It would be kind of messy. Now see, I made a little pink dot. This is the eraser. I can go erase that little pink dot. Mm, it's about. There it goes. I want the text box. So a synonym for happy. I'm going to click in here. You got to get a little box. Synonym for happy would be glad. A synonym for dark would be Sorry about that. Night. And you keep going. Wherever you want to insert a word, you use the text box for it. Down here on the bottom, it's fill in the blanks. On Wednesday, Henry arrived at school and discovered it was opposite day. Everything in his classroom was totally normal. They want the opposite, so they put wacky instead. All the lights were on. Obviously, the opposite of on is off. I'm going to use a text box, click where I want it to go. Sometimes you have to click twice. And I'm going to type off. So the room was bright. Again, click two times here. Bright, the opposite is dark. His teacher handed out pencils, but they were all sharp. Opposite of sharp, click two times, dull. And you get the idea. I'm not going to do them all for you. When you are finished with your assignment, this is the important part. You're going to go up here to the top blue bar. There's lots of options here as well. If you mess up, you can click undo. Um, if you wanted to print it, you could do that too. But I'm going to click this little button way in the top corner. Let me see if I can get it even closer for you. You can click turn in. When I do that, it pops up with another button that says turn in. That's so all I have to do is click turn in. And it exports it for me. And then we wait. It flips me back over here to Schoology and we wait some more. Now, it opened up the submit assignment box for me. It has all the information already in the box. The only thing I need to do is hit submit. And that file goes directly to me so that I can grade it. Right over here, it says assignment submitted. If you realize you made a mistake, you can resubmit it and do it again. I hope this helps you figure out how to use Kami, which is a great tool that I hope we get to start using soon. Have a great day and let me know if you have any problems.